Hi guys. Hello. I'm joined by the one and only, truly the one and only, Carolyn. Um, she is here for a little bit, but you've probably already seen. But yes. um, we're going to be filming a bunch of videos together, and today's video is inspired by Colorless Wonderland. Yes. Colorless Wonderland on YouTube. Um, and he did, it, it was, did you do authors? He did authors. He did authors. Yeah. He did Smash or Pass authors, a video about that. Um, and we, we were like, yeah. that's hilarious. We thought it was so funny. Um, so we made our own. We just filmed the one on Carolyn's channel if you want to go watch it because that one was like book characters. Mm -hmm. And she made the PowerPoint oh, yes. for me. Yes, and now. So, yeah. And now I made a PowerPoint for Emma, Smash Your Pass Authors. I haven't seen this. I can't wait for you to see it. I am just so proud of it. Let's let's play. Let's, let's just play get Smash right into Pass. it. <laughs> you did Mr. Pickwick first, so I was like, I did Dickens first. Okay, let's see. He has a perfectly groomed beard. That's perfectly groomed. <laughs> I'd hate to see it not perfectly groomed, honestly. <laughs> Expects you to faint frequently. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Talks to himself. Yeah, that, that's how he wrote a lot of his books, where he would like reenact scenes like in his office. and We can every... reenact scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen The Man Who Invented Christmas? No. Movie? <gasps> oh, no. It's so good. But Dan Stevens plays Trust Dickens, and he, like a lot of it is the characters sort of come to life like, mm. in his imagination, but they, like, do actually come to life. And he, like, talks to them, and that's kind of how he worked a lot. Oh, and then loves orphans. <laughs> I didn't do pros and cons, I just a general, like... General, like, general... Let's lay out, yeah. let's lay out the, uh, the specs here. Um, yeah, yeah the, the orphan, the orphan thing's a little weird. Pass. <gasps> Ooh, pass. Oh, I'm so surprised. Okay. I admire your work, but... Yeah. Don't want you to work on me. Okay, pass. <laughs> This video is gonna get so many flags. Okay, ready? Uh, no. Okay, next up. Smash! Immediately smash. <laughs> oh my god, smash to high Anton heaven. Anton Chekhov. He checks all my oh boxes. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him, is that colorized? Yeah, it oh, is thing. colorized. Oh my god. He became a physician, but treated patients for free and earns money from his writing. That's admirable. What a gem. Admirable. What is this pose that people... I know. Has great hair. He truly does. Right? Like, I just want to r run my fingers through it. And he, he got a literary um, device named after him. Exactly. Chekhov's gun. Yeah. Smash as well. So he's number one right now. Okay. We'll see if that changes. Okay, ready? <laughs> Next up. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, <laughs> Gaston. Uh, okay, Gaston the food. Well, he has changed my life in so many ways. Okay, he has cool glasses. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Those glasses are very cool. Will take you to the opera. Likes ghosts. And can show your own Paris. Yeah. So. I think those are the, the those pros are outweigh good. the cons. Right? I do like his hair and his mustache. I know. Like, I like the, like, the flick. That's, you know, he, like, takes time to make sure that know. it's, like, properly flicked. Uh, pass. <laughs> but, love his work. Next up, we have... Garcia has a nice mustache. I've never, I haven't seen this picture of him before. Really? Mm -hmm. I was gonna pick a black and white picture. Won't be turned off if you eat dirt. <laughs> That's great, Carolyn. And he's a Nobel Prize winner. Yep. They're just all old. I know. They're so old. I know. I was like, hmm. And that's okay, but I'm not old yet. Yes. I feel old. A Nobel daddy. <laughs> His eyes look so sad. Oh. I think he looks quite happy. Sad. Really? Really? I'm a pass. Okay. Okay. I'm a pass. Okay, ready? I like his eyebrows. Yeah. I do like right? His eyebrows. his eyebrows are nice. His cool eyebrows. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, I don't know, it's, it, it is a hard one because sometimes I see photos and I'm like, <laughs> other times I'm like, mm. likes to travel. True. This man is a traveling man. Right. Um, is a good listener. Which is important. He's very much like, ladies man yes like sh he got so many yeah. that it was actually i'm insane. not surprised i mean come on it's real good smash yeah smash yeah smash imagine him like reciting like his like letters to young or like let's hear can i hear some german no okay ready mm-hmm <laughs> we'll give you rings Will invents a love language. That's true. This man is the language man he of all language languages. Man. Considers himself a hobbit. 
He does. I did, so every time I researched about an author, I did, like, fun facts about. And then mm. he even, he considered himself a hobbit. Like, the aspects of a hobbit, he was like, yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. Right? Okay, right. so he has some Kind of like how you felt. You were like, I am, like, Bilbo Baggins is living my dream. Yeah. You know? Okay, okay. And has a schoolboyish sense of humor. He, that's what he said about himself. I think he, he dressed up, mm-hmm. I, I read he dressed up as, oh, I forgot what, something really, like, nerdy, geeky, mm. when he was teaching, and, like, he thought it was hilarious, but no one else thought it was funny. I feel like the schoolboyish sense of humor, that can either be, like, being very, like, childish and silly, or it's, yeah. like, the, the boys I went to school with, their sense of humor, I was like, yeah. Um, no, it's a pass. It's okay. a pass. Okay. It's a pass. Oh. The next one better be Virginia Woolf. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Homer! <laughs> So old, and he's maybe not even real. Likes to recite stories out loud. Might declare a war if you leave him for another man. The the hard stare that he's giving us, the lack of pupils. Is it doing anything for you? Smash. Not even legit. legit. Yeah, it's come on, it's Homer. If you get a chance to smash Homer, I could I could ascertain and confirm his identity. Amazing. You know, yeah, and then you would be famous forever. Like the it's the like, woman. That it's part of the job. Homer. I have a, I have a, an academic obligation yeah, to yeah. smash Homer. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh no! <laughs> I was learning about him. I'm like, oh my god, this is like a all around nice guy. I have been so traumatized by. <gasps> oh, see, I've never read any of his books. What have yeah. you been traumatized by? Um, sex scenes, mm. just women in general. Mm weird obsessions with ears yes. and breasts right exactly yeah. i don't know if i can risk that you know mm. okay well okay. read read so the he loves to run he does love to run he has a whole book about running running um which is cool mm-hmm. he would definitely outrun me 100% yes. oh, he yeah. likes jazz do you like jazz have you seen the b movie yes you like jazz i yes <laughs> he's a beatles fan I'm not really a Beatles fan. <gasps> what? Like, I'll... I'm never like, oh, I want to listen to the Beatles. Oh. Okay. I wouldn't call myself a Beatles fan. Like, okay. I, I'm just like, they're a band. Okay. They exist. Yeah. Are you a hard Beatles fan? I'm not a hard Beatles fan. Like, I like the Beatles. Like, I'll listen to their music. Yeah. Do I like the Beatles, actually? You know, it's funny. Mm-hmm. Norwegian Wood is my favorite song. <laughs> Have you ever, have yeah, you ever heard of that okay. song? <laughs> Norwegian Wood's your favorite Beatles song? Yeah. Probably. Is Norwegian Wood actually Mark Cummings' favorite song? I have no idea. I- <laughs> what is this academic research? Well, I think you said you're too traumatized, so. It's gotta be a, it's gotta be a pass. Okay. It's gotta be a pass. Like, a lot of these authors, when it, when you get down to it, honestly, <laughs> don't want you near me. Who's okay. next? I actually have no idea what this man looks like. What? I've never seen a picture of Dostoevsky before. What? Really? Wow. Okay, might kill you with an axe. Slight chance. True. Slight chance. Is a sick and unattractive man. Who said that? <laughs> That's the first line of the underground, of oh. Notes from Underground. Okay. I am a sick man. I am an unattractive man. Oh. Survived so Siberia. He did. Cool. Can teach you Russian. We like languages. <laughs> the world goes to hell. You always have your tea. Did you know that? Do you know that quote? No. He he said once, if the world goes to, um, let the world go to hell, but I, I shall, shall always, always have, have my tea. tea. Okay. So yeah, you always have one. tea. He did have, like, a very passionate love for his wife. So, like, he, he was very, like, loyal to her, in love with her, like, we'll probably write you a lot general of love letters. General prerequisites. General Gen- Yes, we'll care about you deeply. <laughs> um, is that really what he looks like? Or do you want to get wanna look, here? Do you want to look up... Oh, yeah, where's my phone? Google an actual photo of him. Questionable hairstyle. I actually think he'd look good bald. I actually kind of like him right? when, when he doesn't have that much hair. Yeah. I think he should just let it go. Yeah, that's how I feel about all bald- balding men. You should like just if, let it go. I, yeah, if I was balding, I would just... If you're balding, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> Shave it off. It's okay. Next to Chekhov, no one compares. Yeah, I know. We started out strong. We did start out strong. Oh, God. Well, well, wait. Mm. You know, we're gonna... Okay, oh, shit. should we go next? Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I have nightmares about this man's hair. Oh, no, likes God. younger women. How young? Did you, did you know... Do you know the story about Alice Liddell? I thought it was his niece. 
No, so it was... Oh, no, it was a girl who was like... It was the dean of Oxford, Cambridge, mm. that um, he was teaching. And he would, like, he would, had a really close relationship with them. He would take, like, photographs of them. And some of them were, like, nude photographs. And people were like, was he a pedophile? Wasn't he a pedophile? And... Come <laughs> on! Also, fun fact. Bruce his tea for exactly ten minutes. That's freaking strong. No more, no less. We'll, we'll write you love letters. Nice. He, yeah, he was a very avid letter writer. Okay. Has a thing for cats, rabbits, queens, hats, etc. So, if that's your thing. <laughs> Look at him, like, like, fake buffing a lens of a camera. You know, like... He's a that guy. Yes! Oh okay, my god. Okay. Are there any women on here? No. Okay. I was thinking about, like, should I put women? But... Smash. Smash. Smash all the way. Smash all the way. Look at him. I know. Ugh. The mustache is like, it's giving a little too much, like, I'm I a catfish. Like, <laughs> I feel like he maybe take the sides off. Definitely we'll be... a shorter mustache would yeah. have been more flattering. Yeah. But the hair, Oof. the eyes, the, the outfit, cheekbones. Yes. Huge ears, but like, he, he wears them nicely. He wears them well. And the fit. Yeah. The uniform. As a person, no. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. It would be smash and dash. Smash and dash. <laughs> okay, well, read his qualities. Read his qualities. Sexy. Okay. Who, what objectivity exists? <laughs> None. We'll write beautiful metaphors with you in mind. Like oak trees. And, um, bread. <laughs> Such a sap. <laughs> Cannot. Is able, is able to grow an impressive beard. True. Right? True. Right? Big one. Has a big house. Yes, Naya Poliana, you could live. In yes, no, no smash and dash. Smash and dash. You okay. don't stay we're, in Tolstoy's house. We're not house. staying. Because if you stay, he's going to start talking to you. And once Tolstoy starts talking to you, it's over. You've killed the new Tolstoy. <laughs> don't start lecturing about Just, yeah, just silently. <laughs> I'm a hoe for you. You're a hoe for you. Likes the color black. Writes with his Siamese cat on his shoulder. He did. I didn't know that. He would, like, position the cat on his shoulder and then write. That is so nice. I know. Looks edgy, but is really a soft boy who calls himself Eddie. Like when he would write to his like women friends, he would sign it Eddie. As a thing for both younger women and males. Yep. He, he had a very, very deep affection for one of his best friend's moms. Mm -hmm. And when she died, um, it's recorded that he like dealt with it like very badly. Like he had a, you know. What did he deal with well? <laughs> no, he's had it rough. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Marries his 13-year-old cousin. Yeah. She dies. Yeah. Upset he's spaghetti. Upset. Falls in love with his friend's mom. No, I, he fell in love with his friend's mom at like age 15. And oh, buddy. then And then fell in love with his 13 or 14-year-old cousin. He's very bizarre looking. He is. But I'm, I really enjoy bizarre looking people. Mm. Like I really, really do. I'm going to say pass. Sorry, Ed. Sorry, okay. Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Oh my god. John Steinbeck! I've never seen a picture of John. Oh my god. Oh, Carolyn. Hello, he's so cute! What? No? I think he is such a handsome man. I was being like, hard pass. What? This is- we don't ever agree. <laughs> we, we don't never agree. agree. We don't. How many times? What? <laughs> four times! Four pictures! He's hot in all of them. What about him? Like back, what, what is the textual what? evidence? You know, but I did do an author portrait of the middle top. Mm. And mm. I remember, I forgot who, but a man that follows me said, wow, John Steinbeck was a really handsome man. Like, was a good looking dude. Can you guys, what is the verdict here? Yeah, please tell us. Would you smash your pass, John Steinbeck? Let us know. Let us know. Give us your ranking of all of these. Hard pass. Hard um, pass. I'd smash, I'd smash. Okay, what interesting. Is your, what is your favorite Steinbeck now? You've read two. Uh, um, I've read Of Mice and Men, oh, oh The God. Pearl, and The Moon is Down mm. for the 24-hour mm. marathon. Probably The Moon is Down. I really liked it. Ernest Hemingway! I've never... This is blowing my mind. Really? I don't, I don't look up pictures of authors. See, that's literally my job. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay, the one on the far right, what is going on there? Okay, okay, well if it's not doing it for you, we don't have to look at it. But this is when he was, um, he got injured in the war when he was an ambulance driver, which is what inspired A Farewell to Arms, and that was taken bottom middle. How cute is that smile? He, he pulled women. 
Man, did he pull women. It's, it's, it's giving yes. It's giving smash. He's super fit from all the boxing he does. <laughs> we'll take you to a bullfight. Would not go. <laughs> Likes to go fishing. Would not go. Good with the ladies. No. Just, just, just a fact. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. See, if it doesn't immediately, like, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Have I ever seen a photo of what he looks like old? Like, he's like a, I think he's a decent looking older gentleman. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah. The famous one? Yes. He looks like he works at a lighthouse. He does. He looks I like mean, he's into are, the lighthouse. Those are good vibes. Ernest! I like lighthouses. I have, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Pass! Oh. Okay. His best friend. Well, they had a rocky time. He looks like a bird. Oh my god, he does. <laughs> oh my god. Likes does. to party. We'll call you old sport. Um, has a killer middle part. <laughs> that hair, though. Oh, uh, F. F. Scott. What, what does F stand for? Francis. 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 Went to Princeton, but flunked out. A minor drinking problem. <laughs> minor. Pass. Okay. Pass. Pass. Smash. What? It's Oscar Wilde. Oh my god, read it. Just wants to be friends. <laughs> I know. Is the best dressed in any room. We'll write a play making fun of you. Has a thing for portraits. It's yeah. Oscar Wilde. Yeah. It's Oscar Wilde. It would be a wild time. <laughs> I just want him in my life, regardless yeah. of. Ah, uh, the last one. <laughs> Billy Shakes. <laughs> I was looking like for a second who the fuck is Billy Shakes. <laughs> Wait, did you look at the name first before the photo? <laughs> has an William earring. Shakespeare. I mean, look at that earring. Is it? A, he has the same earring that I have. Whoa, Billy J. <laughs> He's mysterious. True, true. Homer-esque uh, yeah. identity. Is a big fan of balconies. Yeah. Oh, Billy Shakes. I feel like it would kind of be the same thing as, as smashing Homer. Confirm the fact that he did truly exist and... It's Shakespeare. Like, literally high school students know about him, you know? He looks like an egg, though. He does look like an egg. It's an interesting decision. We do like collars. You know? Okay. Pass. Okay. Would you smash or pass? Oh, she's yeah, I was thinking, <laughs> that was a, whoa, 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 what, did, what no, just happened in there? Because I had the same thoughts of, like, then I could say that I smashed Billy Shakespeare. You call him Billy? Yeah, we're on a nickname basis, not even a first name I love name basis. the name William. I do too, yes. I feel like I would smash just to say that I smashed Billy Shakespeare. No? Questionable okay. hygiene well, as well. Ooh. She makes a good point, ladies and gentlemen. Favorite Shakespeare play on three. <gasps> One, One, two, two three. three. Julius Caesar. <laughs> and then, wait. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> just me and Chekhov. <laughs> just it was me really and just Chekhov. Do you know who else? Is oh, who else is very? There's another author. Jack Kerouac. No. Jack Kerouac. No. Jack Kerouac. Camus. Ooh. Would smash Camus. <gasps> w. E. B. Du Bois. <gasps> what? Oh my God! Wait. Is that Aldous Huxley? Aldous Huxley. <laughs> Aldous Huxley. You would smash Aldous Huxley? Yeah. Get that picture back up. Be Aldous Huxley. Yep. Okay. Emma. It's- yeah! I think he looks cool. Okay. I think he's cool looking. Jack Kerouac. No. We have a literal opposite taste. What? Wow. It's- but- uh, what? He's no. so beautiful. He's such a beautiful man. To me, I've seen that face a million and one times. You know, you're right. You do like the the unique, the unique looking folks. He looks just like Aldous Huxley. They have the same glasses and the same eyes. I thought it literally said Aldous Huxley under one of them. Oh my god. No, the, the other one I pulled up was Aldous Huxley. They just look so much alike. Oh, older, older Beckett. That's like a silver fox. Beckett, Beckett all Beckett. the time. Young Beckett isn't- oh, I have an Emma hair on me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like- Beckett all the time. Oh, they just kind of have the same hair, they, new glasses. They look very much alike. He's giving me, like, 
will stare at me while I sleep vibes. Truly, <laughs> we truly went through some things today. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> we'll leave Colorless Wonderland below as well. Yes. You should check out his channel. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Um, we'll see you in the next one. We'll, yes. we'll be doing some more. Yes. So, until then, I say ciao. <gasps> ciao. Ciao.